G'day, my name is Dan Hunter and welcome to my mini YouTube video looking at the versatility of PowerPoint. So when is a PowerPoint presentation actually not a PowerPoint presentation? So when you're using PowerPoint to prototype user interfaces and design, working in the industry, I've actually seen PowerPoint used to prototype a website and uh, other applications that show user interfaces. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks so you can convert, transform your PowerPoint presentation into a prototype user interface. So let me show you the setup that I've got before. I've got four slides here. I've got a menu slide, an about me slide, an interesting stuff slide, and just my title slide here. Now I'm just gonna show you that when I present this PowerPoint, uh, what happens by clicking as a default, it travels so it advances through each of the next slides. If I wanna use the mouse uh, to use the interface, I perhaps wanna switch off the accidental mouse click that will take you through one screen to the next. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first. Right, it's quite easy. We need to select all of our slides. So I'm gonna use a shift click. So I select the first slide, hold down shift, select the last slide, and all those slides are selected. I then go to transitions and on the ribbon, move across to the very right. And here's an option that's switched on by default. It's advanced slide on a mouse click. So I'm gonna switch that off. And by highlighting all the slides, that switches that option off for all my slides. Look, see, it's not ticked, it's not ticked. There you go. And just to prove that, there I am running the presentation. Clicks don't do anything to advance my presentation. I can use the cursors, the arrow keys, but my clicks don't do anything. The next thing to do is I wanna create some objects to act as buttons, so that's quite easy. If you wanna insert anything into a Microsoft Office application, you need to go to insert. I'm gonna use shapes for this. There's a whole load of shapes that I can use that are appropriate. Even at the bottom, there's some action buttons that we'll have a look at in a wee bit. But I'm gonna select this kind of curved rectangle and I'm gonna click and drag to make like a button shape. Now the great thing is, is here's a little other sneaky tip. If I want to make multiple options, I just hold down the control key. And look, my mouse button is changing to a little plus. Whilst the control key is being held, I can click and drag and create duplicates. Okay, so if I want to get the right size, very, very easy. I only need two buttons. So the first button is going to go to about me. And the second button is going to go to interesting stuff. Okay, so at the moment, uh, these don't do anything. Look, see, click, nothing. All they are just shapes on my uh, slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert them into hyperlinks. So I just highlight the text, go to insert and hyperlink, and I have to make sure I'm linking to a place in this document. And what appears here is select a place in this document to link to. So you've got some nice, easy navigations. First, last slide, next slide, previous slide. Or if you've got slide titles, you can specify it. So the About Me is going to link to the About Me slide. Click on OK. And interesting stuff. I blink. Interesting stuff. So let's see that work. OK, so About Me. There you go. About Me. Click on interesting stuff, interesting stuff. I'm gonna need obviously a button to go back, but it's that simple, you can build that yourself. Right, a couple of other things to show you. Here's a nice little user interface option. If I highlight the text as well and go back to hyperlink, there's something called screen tip. So I'm gonna put click to go to the about me information page, there you go. So now I've added a screen tip, let's see what that does. Put my mouse pointer over the button, that's a screen tip, that little text box that appears, tool tip sometimes it's called, that adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi to your user interface. There are other options, other shapes you can choose. You've got action buttons here, so perhaps on my about me, I wanna go home to the main menu, click on the home action button, click and drag it, I get home, where will it link to? Will it automatically hyperlink to the first 
slide. So that's done for you. So let's have a look at that. So. Yeah. Boom. So there's a whole host of things that you can do with PowerPoint without it actually being a presentation. And prototyping user interfaces is one of them. So that's the end of the video. Thank you very much. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, like down at the bottom and I'll see you later. Thanks very much.